This is literally an homage to why people can't have good things. As a longtime fan of Terminator, I can honestly say that this movie is an absolute return to form. I didn't get to see this in theater due to overcoming a medical issue, but all I've heard is that this movie was horrible, and more of the same capitalization on an IP's name with very little substance. Among those complaints I've also heard the argument that the plot of the film panders to a liberal PC crowd due to a very significant plot point. I'm not here to get political, so I'll let others fight that war, but because it's seems so egregious in the minds of many people, I'll actually give a synopsis of the film as to not mislead anyone along the way. Terminator Dark Fate, directed by Tim Miller, is set 27 years after the events of Terminator 2. The point of contention in this film is that multiple Terminators were sent back in time to kill John Connor, and though the future, foreseen by Linda Hamilton's Sarah Connor from the original film, was in fact stopped, that didn't stop a previously sent Terminator from carrying out its orders to kill John Connor. That's right, John is dead. It turns out though that in the new future created, humanity has found a way to kill itself setting up very similar events to reboot and kick off another cat and mouse time travel debacle in which once again, a terminator and a protector are sent back in time. One to kill an important leader to the human resistance and one to protect her. Yes, her. I can already hear some of you groaning out there, but before you make up your mind, hear me out. This film is the perfect follow-up to Terminator 2. If you give the movie 10 minutes, the first 10 minutes, to get you intrigued, I have a hard time believing that any Terminator or sci-fi fan would actually turn this movie off. My wife went into this film very skeptical and ready to give it at best a C, but most likely a D, because of the last three Terminator films. Her phone was at the ready to Pinterest and chill. Soon it dropped completely to the coffee table. Her eyes were glued to the TV and she was all the way in. If you don't pre-wrap the film as a shot at masculinity or a liberal propaganda grab for diversity and you just sit in the seat and watch the film, I think you'll enjoy it. I've watched it twice already and enjoyed it both times. The film is intense, the action set pieces are phenomenal, and the humor is way more on point than it has any right to be. A big plus for me, Arnold wasn't just a cameo. He was a fully fleshed out character with a story arc and not just a dose of nostalgia. I'll give Terminator Dark Fate a B. This film would have been a great kickoff point for a new chapter in the franchise, but sadly, this is why people stuck arguing political agendas can't have nice things. It's just a film, people. Thank you for joining me for another review, and please feel free to follow, like, subscribe, hit the bell, use the three seashells, and support this page in any way you can. The journey's just begun. Let's get it.